evening. Holy Sasquatch here. Still down in Gifford National Forest. It's uh, March 9th. It's just about 6 o'clock. I just finished eating dinner not too long ago. And uh, in case you hadn't noticed, there's a little bit less snow here than there was in my first video when I was standing up on the bridge there at Spud Hill. But I wanted, the sun's going down and Man, it's just, it's beautiful right here. What I'm getting at is I moved. I, I've, been, I've been down here since Thursday. I came down Thursday and I went up to the bridge spot. It's called the Spud Hill Bridge. And uh, I'll turn around and give you guys a view of the river. And when I went up there, I didn't... Anyways, I was hell-bent for leather to get up there. And I'm pretty ornery when I want to do something. So that's where I went. But as soon as the road split up there on Highway 23, where 21 and 23 split, you drop down to that bridge, to that spot there where I like to camp. And anyways, without rambling, like I said in the other video, it was, you know, most folks probably wouldn't go in there, but I did. And I'm competent, you know what I mean? I know what I'm doing. But it just maybe was in in hindsight, I, it maybe wasn't the smartest place to go. It was just beautiful though, and I'm grateful I went. I don't regret it. That being said, it snowed all day yesterday, and I had a hard time getting in. And it's basically downhill. And then when where I'm camping, it's down in a hole, and in the fall, it's a mud bog. But anyways, so <laughs> it's after it snowed all day yesterday. I guess is what I'm getting at. I, I decided. One way or another, I'm getting the heck out of there today, this morning. So I was up at eight o'clock. I mean, I, I didn't sleep for shit all night long. I was stressed out a little bit. You know, it's one thing if you if you get into a position where, you know, things aren't too comfortable or aren't too good and there's a chance, you know, that the roads may really suck. But I don't want to be that guy. I'll come back to that in a minute. So anyways, I was up early, had my shit packed. ASAP and uh, to be honest I was down at this spot here by 1030 this is my original what I call my original spot quite a few people come here I'm gonna turn back around for the sunset just a sec so yeah by 1030 I was back down here at my original spot and Spud Hills up at, at two it's 2,000 feet and it's supposed to be like 18 degrees tonight and I don't know so that's going to be pretty chilly one way or the other and I'd just soon be down here a little bit <laughs> and out of the freaking snow. <clears throat> it wasn't bad. I wasn't like freezing or anything. I, I slept all right when I did sleep, but anyways, it's prudent to come down. So with humility and grace, I loaded up my stuff and I came back down here. I'm going to turn back around just a sec. So, the, I, let me digress here. When I was back up here in January, I was, I camp year round. I don't care, man. Cold weather or not, give me the snow. Although, <laughs> the past two nights was too damn much snow and there's going to be more. I'm walking back to my camp. So anyways, back in January, I was up there camping at the bridge and uh, it had snowed quite a bit, but this is one of the first snows of the season, you know, so the... The roads were bad, but they weren't real bad. Not like they were this time. And uh, I don't want to make a long story here. So I decided I wanted to get out and have a little bit of fun. So I had my truck and four wheel drive across the bridge and I was gonna go up two miles to this water, the first waterfall on the right there. I just said, I, I want to be safe. I got four wheel drive, but I'm not, you know, silly. I don't have a winch. I'm a hell of a driver, I guess, but so I went up there to take a picture and I'm sitting there with a fresh cup of coffee, a poor man's mocha hot cocoa and my, my Lipton's instant coffee. And I took a couple of pictures and I was looking up around the corner and I, I was like, I always have a desire to go up and around the next corner. I think most folks do, but I'm like, no way, man, it's snowing. I just came up here to take a picture and I ain't trying to get stuck. That's what I'm thinking to myself. And something just kept telling me, you gotta go around the corner and get up there. So man, I went up around the corner 
<clears throat> and down walking this road. Now I'm up there, this is Sunday. I've been up there all freaking weekend. It's been snowing and there ain't no one up there, dude. I didn't even see these guys go by. I don't know when they went by. They must have went by in the morning or something while I was out walking around, but. So, here's a family of five walking down the road. And it's like two in the afternoon, snowing like a bitch or like a mother. It's only getting worse. And here, and these guys are soaking wet. And long, uh, to kind of wrap this up, I'm gonna run out of time maybe on my run here, but. I, I moved the stuff around in my truck and they hopped in and, hold on a sec. And they, they, got, they, they got stuck. And so, long to wrap the story up, I rearranged my truck, they all piled in and I drove them all the way down into Randall so they could get help and get warm and all that stuff. So, I just didn't want to be that guy, you know? Cause I'm by myself and not too many people are funny enough. <laughs> or determined enough to come up to a place, you know, in the winter time and it, so I just didn't want to get stuck, that's all. So, this is my new spot. That's the view that I was just looking at. I got my Eureka teacup set up. I decided not to use this fire pit. I'm tired of it being too close to my tent when I camp here. So I made this one and I made it right. I went and got sand from down by the river and made a good bottom and everything. And it's just off this old road grade rock, so. But now I got the super setup right here. Blocks the wind that comes off this river because it's cold down here in the winter time with that wind off this river. So, anyways, Saturday evening. I plan on making some videos tomorrow. And, uh,. I'm just glad I moved and I'm glad to be here until my next video. Oli Sasquatch out. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it.